Hey, what's up guys? Brad Grew here from Digital Meld and BradGrew.com. I want to talk to you today about the Windows Developer Preview that was announced yesterday at uh, Microsoft's Build Conference. That was 9-13-2011. The uh, Windows 8 Preview uh, build was released by Microsoft for uh, developers to practice their application developing on. Um, so if you go to msdn at microsoft.com and you have a subscription, you can download uh, various versions of the build preview, um, including a 64-bit version with developer tools, um, as well as a 64-bit version with just some, some basic apps, and a 32-bit version with some basic apps. What I'm going to be working with today is, is the uh, 3.6 gigabyte 64-bit Windows developer preview. Um, so go ahead and download that or uh, whichever one you need for your system and we'll get started. Now to install Windows 8, uh, the developer preview on a Windows 7 machine, you will need a couple of tools. Um, you will need Magic ISO or Daemon tools or any other thing that would allow you to create a virtual CD-ROM using an ISO image. I like Magic ISO, it's very easy to use and it's free. Um, so, and here's, I'll put the link in the description, but uh, it's made by the guys who make Magic ISO, so you need the Magic, uh, the Virtual Disk, Magic Disk I believe is actually what it's called. And then you'll need VirtualBox, which is a free virtualization software. Um, unfortunately, VMware Fusion or VMware does not work um, because it requires Windows 8 requires the ACPI 2.0, uh, which VMware does not have. So if you try to install this on VMware, uh, you will get a blue screen of death. And I've actually tried to install it on uh, Virtual PC, and it crashes as well. So VirtualBox should give you everything you need to get it installed, and it's free, so you might as well download it. Okay, so I have VirtualBox 4.1.2 downloaded, and uh, I'm going to go through the install with you. It's very simple, uh, but I thought you know might as well include it in the video for people that may not be familiar with it. So if you just hit Next, um, you can just leave all the basic settings, and just hit Next again. Um, I don't like shortcuts, so I'm just going to remove both of those and hit Next, and then hit Yes, and then Install. Uh, and they'll take a, few, a minute or two to install, depending on your system, and then from there, uh, we'll install uh, Magic ISO or Magic Disk, and then get started with that. Magic Disk is extremely easy to install, so I won't go over that. But once you do have it installed and up and running, it'll be in the right bottom right-hand corner of your taskbar. You'll see the little Magic ISO Virtual CD DVD Manager icon. If you right-click that and go to Virtual CD DVD ROM at the top, and then you go to Mount, you need to mount the ISO image, um, which mine is here on the desktop. So I'll just double-click that. You don't want to click the auto run setup because you don't want to update that computer. Um, you want to actually install it in a virtual machine, so we'll just close out of that. Okay, so now we have all the prerequisites done. We can get started. Okay, now that we have everything installed, we just want to open Oracle VM VirtualBox and we want to create a new virtual machine. So let's go through that process now. And to do that, you, it, it's basically like a wizard. So you just hit New and it takes you to a virtual machine wizard. So we'll just hit Next. Uh, I'm just going to name mine Windows 8. Um, version, you can just leave this, I, I believe, operating system, hit next. Um, I have 4 gigs of RAM, so I want to give mine 2 gigs, so 2048, because I could have just typed it in. I'm going to hit next. Um, we want to start up disk. We want to create a new disk, because we don't have one yet. So just hit next. Um, and then you can choose the, the disk um, format. Um, I'm going to use VMDK just because I know that's what uh, it's one, a easier one to use. I'm just going to use that one. You can use whichever one you want. And as a virtual disk order, I'm going to say fixed size. I, I know from reading what others have posted that the installation is about 15 gigs, so I want to put give it a fixed size. And um, I'm just going to give it 25 gigs of space on my hard drive. And hit next and hit create and this will create the uh, the the virtual machine with the uh, the actual storage space allocated and everything like that and from then uh, once it's done creating the machine we can then start the installation process on the virtual machine so I'll come back once this is done it should take about 10 minutes and I'll get back to it okay here we are about 10 minutes later and the creation of my virtual machine is completed um, and it just gives you an overview here, and I just want to hit the create button for it to uh, actually list list it here. 
And from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to start the virtual machine, and then we're going to make it boot from the DVD drive. VirtualBox should recognize our installation ISO automatically. If it doesn't, it should allow you to choose um, the actual drive you want to boot from. Uh, so let's just give it a start and see what it does. Okay, it looks like it found the installation CD and it's loading the files. After this, we should get a developer preview splash screen and then the installation should start and it looks very similar to Windows 7 installation. There's the splash. Um, just a warning that it doesn't currently support mouse pointers. And then as you can see, this looks almost identical to Windows 7 installation. So let's just step through this. Um, English, English, that's fine with me. I'm just going to hit next um, and install now. I don't think we have a whole lot of options. Um, so it's just going to start and install all by itself. So I'm going to time this startup, and I'll mention that time once this is done. Obviously, I'm not going to record the entire time, so I'm just going to start uh, keeping track of how long it actually takes once I get the install, get to the installing windows. This is, again, this looks exactly like Windows 7, so you shouldn't have any problems. Sorry, I shouldn't have put uh, upgrade. I should put a custom. unallocated space 25 gigs and it's copying the files I've started my timer so let's see how long this takes I'll get back to you whenever it's done let's go through a few basics so this is obviously this is part of the installation process in Windows 7 but it has a new look in Windows 8 um, so just a name so I'm just going to put Windows 8. It doesn't allow spaces. I tried to put a space. It didn't allow that. Just hit Next. Um, let's look at the Customize menu just to see what it has. Automatic updates, smart screens, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Metadata. Let's just hit Next. Uh, this is just customer feedback. We'll go ahead and hit that. That's fine. Error reporting. That's fine. I'm just going to put Brad. So that's my name. Hit next. Finalizing your settings. Again, the process is very similar to Vista in Windows 7. It just has a different look. I imagine that's probably not the finalized look either. Um, so it's preparing my, Brad's PC. Personalized settings pop up just all like all the way back to what Windows 98, Windows 95. The final settings right before starting up for the first time. Okay, there's the Windows 7 desktop we're so used to. And so just in a little under 18 minutes, I got up and running with the virtual machine on Windows 8. Um, I'm not going to delve into how it's using it. I'll make another video for that. But um, as you can see, it is a fully working Windows 8 desktop. Getting to the desktop is, is quite simple. Um, and I believe right now when you click this it'll take you back to the start page I don't think that's how it will be in the final release but there you have it you know getting Windows 8 um, development preview up and running on a virtual machine using Oracle VM VirtualBox thanks